So I went to the University of Winnipeg, and I got a three-year Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry there. So then after I finished that, I was kind of contemplating what to do. I couldn't decide, you know, what type of field I wanted to get into after that. And a lot of the job opportunities from that degree would be going to a research lab and doing that. But I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that my whole life. So I took some time off and I was a stay-at-home mom for a few years. So one of the reasons I chose online was because I didn't want to go from being a stay-at-home mom to all of a sudden going back to school full-time. For me, it'd be difficult. For my daughter, it would be difficult. So it was a perfect choice to be able to do my work at home and then still get the hands-on training through the lab work. I think the online learning, I mean, when I started, I thought it would be like online classes that I had taken before where it's you get all your material, you do it in your own time, there's not really an instructor, but this was completely different. Like, you have your instructors, you can email them, talk to them, we had weekly meetings, and the community, I think, amongst the students was the biggest help and just so amazing to see how helpful everybody was to each other. If you needed help or if you had a problem, there was no sitting at home by yourself trying to figure out what to do. You could always find somebody to talk to and get help from. Even with students in other provinces, like Alberta, we would meet up through Skype or our Adobe meetings and have one-on-ones with each other to help each other too. I would say the most I learned was, you know, because you're doing cardiology, so you want to get into the bulk of it and the heart. So I learned so much about the heart, pathophysiology, things like that. Um, and then just being the cardiology tech, so doing EKGs and interpreting. I mean, when I started, I had no idea what I was looking at. At the end of the course, I could look at things and go, I know what this is, this is, what kind of rhythm this person has. And it was just amazing to see. And to see students who started off as well with me, who were having such a hard time in the beginning, and then by the end, they were right up there doing the same things. I think the instructors from all the courses were really knowledgeable. Um, if we had a problem or if we had a question, they knew their material right away. They could help us out. And I mean, just university instructors, it's different. Here you could email somebody and they would email us back at all hours of the day. So if it was 10 o'clock, you could get an email back at 10 o'clock if you needed help, which I thought was the most important thing, was having somebody who would respond to you right away and get back to you if you needed help. The commitment of Stenberg to prepare us like past the course and into employment is just completely different. In university, it's here's your course, you're finished it, you're done, and that's it. Here I found there's always emails coming in if you need help finding job opportunities, if you want help fixing your resume or practicing interviews, there was always that opportunity for us. And I think it was even maybe two weeks ago I got an email from the school saying that there was a job opening up in Brandon, Manitoba. So I mean just things like that, like letting us know you know, where we could apply, where people are looking. That was really nice. I thought the lab portions at the Wellness Institute were just, they were fantastic. Like the instructors were amazing. I mean, they helped us out not just with our hands-on training and putting what we learned, like theory-wise, to use, but also guiding us through the course of how it is in Winnipeg, like which hospitals, and you know, it's just different from province to province. So having people from our own city come in and teach us and tell us their experiences, that really helped. During my clinical, I had talked to one of the managers at the site that I was at, and I had given, given her my resume, and then she hired me for casual while I was still doing my clinical. The last seven months have been great. I got a actual full-time position at the Victoria General Hospital in Winnipeg, and the people there are just so nice, so helpful. Um, not just the people that I closely work with every day, but people in the other departments of the hospital just very welcoming. It's challenging, but at the same time, you know, seeing different things every day, it adds to your knowledge, keeps you on your toes, so I really enjoy it. I find the morale in the cardiology department at, in Winnipeg at all the sites is just wonderful. Everybody loves working there. Um, when I was a student and I would ask the other techs how they liked it, they said they loved their job, they would never, you know, no regrets, they wouldn't change anything. And from me being there just seven months doing it, I feel the same way. I think the cardiology tech and the cardiologist, the relationship is really close, not just, you know, business-wise and at the hospital, but personally, you know, it's very friendly. And I think they put a lot of trust in our knowledge, which shows a lot for the schools that we've come from. I mean, we're the ones, especially like in stress testing and Holter monitoring and Holter analyzing, we're the ones who are going through all the information and picking out what the cardiologist should see. So they're taking whatever we give them and knowing that that's, you know, what's going on with their patients. So it's a lot of trust, a lot of knowing that we know what we're doing.
I think the preventative side is just a really large role of the cardio tech, especially I find in stress testing. Because you're there, you're there to diagnose, you're there to look at you know, what life-threatening arrhythmias a patient may have, and you're the first one there if something does happen during the stress test. So it's up to you to call, you know, to do the measures of either calling cold blue, helping the patient, getting them off the treadmill, and then calling in the doctor, letting them know exactly what happened, how it happened, things like that. I think the job of a cardio tech is just incredibly fulfilling. You go to work, you see patients of all different walks of life, whether they be really sick and ill or just coming in for routine testing. And I mean, to be able to talk to them and have a relationship with them and make them feel better about the situation, explain to them what's happening. You know, if somebody comes in, they may not know what's going on. Am I having a heart attack? Am I sick? So if you're able to sit with them, talk with them, calm them down, and then go away with a feeling that you really help them, at the end of the day, that's the best part. And then being able to come home and share that. I'll share it with my husband or with my daughter. And I think that's one of the best parts. At the beginning, I knew it was going to have a big impact on me and my family. I think even though it's online and you can still stay home and do a lot of your work, you're still spending time at home doing your studying, your coursework. And I mean, I think with the other students too, if we didn't have our family helping us and supporting us, we wouldn't be where we are right now. We wouldn't have been able to get through it. Um, in the beginning, it was a big investment, you know, always the questions of should I, shouldn't I? But now that I'm finished and I see what my future is, I wouldn't change it anything for the world. I think it was the best decision I ever made. Um, my husband was very supportive. He was always pushing me to do it. He told me, you know, if this is what I want to do, to do it. Looking back on the program, I would tell people, be prepared to do a lot of work. Don't think that just because it's online, that it's just, oh, here's your coursework, do it in your own time, and you can procrastinate. It's not like that, it's very scheduled, which I really liked, because it kept me on track and me on focus, as you know, when I talked to the other students, they felt the same way. So be prepared for the coursework, be prepared to learn a lot. Like, you don't realize how much you can learn in such a short amount of time.